Hey, hey, welcome back. This is Yu Jung, and today we're going to talk about what non clinical art as therapy or therapeutic art work options are available for us or for you. So, recently on my Thirsty for Art channel and on Instagram, I talked about why I personally chose to do non clinical art as therapy or therapeutic art work. As someone with an art therapy background, or as someone who is a registered art therapist, and this actually sparked a lot of discussion, which was awesome. And one of the questions that I got was, you know, this is really good to know. And so, what、uh, non clinical work options are out there for us, right? So, the question is like, if you choose to do non clinical work as an art therapist, what can you actually offer? So, I thought that was a really great question that I can answer in a video. So, here I am. So, listen、uh, carefully for all the options that you can offer.、Um, I hope that this is helpful. So, what are the options that you have for non clinical? What on call therapeutic art work? And of course, you, it can be non clinical art therapy work, right? You can be a clinical art therapist and still offer non clinical options.、Uh, but these are the options that you can have in terms of what to offer. So there are different forms of services and products. That's something that you have to keep in mind with non clinical work. Like it can be including services and products. That's the kind of really advantage of non clinical work、uh, because it includes just a lot of variety in terms of what you can offer and it includes products. So, here are the things that I can think of. Of course, there are probably more. If you know them, please let me know in the comments.、Uh, but these are the common ones. So, first, workshops. That's a service that you can provide.、Um, Both the workshops are non clinical because it is educational in nature. Workshops,、uh, other things can include retreats, trainings,、uh, could be for professionals or other people, presentations and speeches、right? in different places, organizations, events, sites,、uh, businesses. Other thing is memberships. That's another one, right? Memberships, you know, are kind of recurring containers that include services and also could include products、uh, that members receive every month.、Um, products. So I said products.、Um, some of these include online courses, right? Audio products. Uh, audio files that you can listen to, like guided meditation, things like that. Also, products could be like recorded workshops and classes. That is a digital product that you can offer. Right?、Uh, products also include physical things, right? Like, could be some kind of certain notebook, certain、um, kit, maybe. You don't know. Um, other forms of services and products that are non clinical in nature is consultations. This might be career, corporate, or professional consultations. Other service is mentoring, right? For whatever purpose that really utilizes your knowledge in art therapy.、Um, another thing is writing books. That is non clinical in nature most of the time, right? And so, Books can be a non clinical product. Actually, that's a product, right? <laughs>、um, also, a different form of offer you can have is creating content. So, this is a very, very new thing, but、um, creating online content can be a form of a service or even kind of like a product if you even think about it that way、uh, that you can you know, work for and receive income for. So, definitely something to include. And then, other things include service packages and programs. So, packages and programs. I think this is a very unique thing that we can offer in this day and age when you do non clinical work. 
these mostly cannot happen through any type of clinical container. So definitely a unique thing that you can do within the non-clinical parameter. Um, so service packages and programs could be like combinations of one-to-one -one services or maybe group services also could include digital products or workbooks, printables, online course, community access, giving templates, giving access to content, maybe support like email support, all these things or different combinations of things can make up packages and programs. So something very cool to kind of think about when you're exploring non-clinical work. And of course, you know, we also have the commonly known one-on-one -on -one service or sessions and of course group sessions that you can provide through that non-clinical kind of parameter, right? So those are the things that you can explore or you have the options for when you approach non-clinical therapeutic art work. Um, and I also wanted to kind of give you some examples of the services that you can provide, the non-clinical services that you can provide, because I feel like some of us have a hard time like imagining or thinking what does it really look like. And I definitely understand that challenge because some of us who come from a clinical or therapy background, it's just so hard to think outside of the box of the clinical realm and you know, think of how we can utilize our, our therapy knowledge to help other people. And so I'm going to give you some different ways that you can approach your non-clinical service. So this is going to enlighten you in terms of the nature of the service that you can provide when it is non-clinical. All right. So hopefully it is going to inspire you um, and give you more ideas of how you can do this work or approach uh, non-clinical path, right? So some of the examples uh, I wanted to share were first working with the community. So that's actually a non-clinical service that you can provide. Uh, think of like community mural projects, disaster relief projects within a community who's you know affected by a natural disaster perhaps. And think about how these can be grant funded projects Right, think about how it can be funded in different ways. And that is how you work and you receive income and yeah, your community is your site basically. So that is a non-clinical service. I also find that this is really interesting and could be really effective, especially because like clinical services can be slow because of the process, all the process that it takes to be delivered to people. Um, so whenever a certain kind of emergency situation arises within a community, sometimes I feel like non-clinical uh, projects like these can be even more expedient and effective, right? So interesting to think about, right? Um, another non-clinical type of service that can be provided is like online workshops with maybe participants from different countries that come together to really explore their spirituality together. So this is kind of very non-clinical in nature, right? But it's not really like to do therapy or anything like that. Um, and because it's non-clinical, you can have people from all different countries come together. So that's a possibility. Um, another service that is very non-clinical in nature could be like a incorporating yoga uh, or movement with art plus meditation together. So having some sort of service that is a combination of those three, right? I also think that one-on-one -on -one or one-to-one -one package programs can be very non-clinical non in nature. Uh, an example would be like a three-month program of one-on-one -on -one work to help someone with imposter syndrome and self-confidence. So that's another option, right? Some other examples include maybe like creating a healing center for all sorts of classes like breath work, meditation, sound therapy, and other creative methods to self-care and healing. So that's a really nice, cool thing. <laughs> uh, I hope someone 
I mean, I bet there are people who are doing this and who have created this, which is awesome, right? Another example is like hosting retreats in different places around the world, maybe like Bali or Puerto Rico or I don't know anywhere、uh, to help professionals in burnout. Let's say that's just an example. So retreat programs. That's another option. A different example is、uh, creating like an online course on self love and accepting one's body, something like that.、Uh, definitely, it, you know, it's non clinical in nature because it's really not about like providing therapy or anything like that. It's a course, basically, it's a class.、Um, another example is creating an immersive program for families to connect with nature and creativity. So this could be like an in-person program,、um, where it is really about connecting with your intuition, connecting with nature, what's around you, and really sparking the innate creativity that people have within themselves. So that's a really cool、um, program that you know someone can do. <laughs>、uh, and the last example I wanted to share was、uh, like a Having like an audio guided session that helps, let's say, moms deal with the stress of motherhood or stress of being a stay-at-home mom or being maybe a working mom, something like that, right? Like, it could be audio guided sessions, right? So those are some examples, like concrete, tangible、uh, examples of non-clinical offers that you can have when you do this type of like non-clinical therapeutic guided work、uh, that really can utilize your knowledge and art therapy in a very creative way、uh, and create these really flexible and unique and creative containers and services. So I hope that this inspired you. Let me know if it did in the comments, and also if it did inspire you, please hit that like button, and I will know that this was helpful. So thank you so much for being here with me. If there are other questions that you want me to answer in future videos in terms of non-clinical work, let me know in the comments, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye bye.